Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Ivy Karibu Sana. There are a lot of new faces here I've been seeing. Uh, Karibu. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And if this video is helpful, <laughs> like the video, comment down below, and share it with like three friends. I just have a stress here doing it. Just three. <laughs> it's Christmas every day for me, so don't be surprised. We're wearing Christmas sweaters in February. <laughs> February <laughs> uh, as the title suggests it's a breakfast uh, suggestion uh, yeah unconventional breakfast ideas they're not popular you know like bread and butter and blueberry and jam uh, sausages uh, today I'm going to show you some of my favorite breakfast ideas that top my list to be honest I love bread but some of this just they're up there they're up up, up up there so the very first one will be ndoma now backstory <laughs> when i was a child growing up i hated ndoma i don't know what hate is do you know what hate is i hated ndoma i never used to understand the concept um i used to be a sweet potato person uh guashi <laughs> i loved guashi because it had sugar and doma doesn't have sugar and one day i was at my aunt's place and then she she pan roasted she pan fried the domas i have never looked back i have never looked back I... it was we flipped it was like a multi-dimensional thing there was a flip I started now hating sweet potatoes and really really loving domas because of, the, of that aspect it tastes so good the second one what do you do with leftover ugali for breakfast pan fried this is so this is so unhealthy because we're using a lot of oil but you know some of these things you should just indulge yourself eh? pan fried ugali is the bomb it's i usually cook ugali mingi for the purpose of it remaining and then i can pan fry it for breakfast and number three this recipe i've been asked to share <laughs> i usually think it's so simple i feel it's simple but anyway i'll just share it that is chips my eye i've i've i've, I've I have shown it in this channel so many times. You may just call me Ivy Chips My Eye. It's okay. It's okay. We shall rebrand. Really good. It has eggs. It has chips. <laughs> it has tomato sauce. That's vitamins. <laughs> you take it with chai. You take it with juice. Whichever for, for me, it's just for me. If it's breakfast, it's chai. If it's lunch, ka kamunyueso. What? Kamunyueso. Uh, just apple juice or just something, you know, yeah, just something, just something. First up, ndoma. And guys, ndomas are expensive, excuse me. So I'm just going to prep them and then show you how I do it. How long does Ndoma take to cook? I don't know. The paper bag, what does it do? Uh, this is just how I was raised. Even on your corner, like Ipikwa. <laughs> but I think it's to have it cook evenly or like Majiote is it is escape. Majiote is escape from the sufuria so that the thing, I don't know. Me, I don't know. But it makes sense. 
when you when you when you use the bag it makes sense i, I was cooking like for one hour it poke it so that you know if it's cooked or not i cook it with a peel <laughs> i don't know how you do it but for me i cook it with a peel and then i peel it afterwards So this is what you want <laughs> this kind of shape so that it's easier to fry like they have to be flat on uh, both sides so you come to your pan mopenzi tight kama kifuniko ya gas This is the difference between the pan fried and the non pan fried. <laughs> After it gets out of the nini from the pan, I like to sprinkle some salt. Ndoma pizzas. Let me cook the next batch and then you can taste this, baby. Woo! I guess who's done? <laughs> it came out really, really, really good. Ah, uh, I'm proud. It's hot. It's hot, baby. It's hot. This is how it looks like. We have like the salt juice. Mm. Hina cha yamaziwa. Mm. Or whichever you like. It's okay. <laughs> Goodness, eh? look at it, look at it, look at it. I just decided to have like a nice presentation of it. Uh. <laughs> look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. So, on to my next recipe. This is my favorite recipe out of them all. So, Karibu Sana. And it's the most easiest actually. But uh, people are confused on whether I put one first before the other or the other before this other. It was it's a confusion. So, I was just like, let me add it to this video so that I just show you how everything works. And let me see. Chipo, this is 50 bob uh, at our area. I don't know how they charge at your area. In your 50 bob. Nimingi, I'm going to get it. Comment section. <laughs> so you will need a pan. For me, the chips, the fries go in fast. And then I gonga mayai. And then I spread it around. I spread it around like every nook and every crevice I spread it I spread it I make sure it goes it goes I do add some oil for the purposes of the egg cooking because the fries are essentially dry at this point so yeah, that is what I'm doing. Now pour. I always cover so that it like slow cooks with the steam and they okay yeah just cover guys we're covered and cooking i don't have a, a lid for this pan so i've just taken the lid of another uh uh of mine again low heat that is the secret of cooking the perfect mayai eggs <laughs> mayai 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 uh, I'm just now going to wait for it to cook at the bottom and then up at top and then we can flip. Yeah. 
so guys the actual challenge is in flipping disaster disaster So press it down so that at least it cooks also when it can't reach you get <laughs> what does this look like my hand <laughs> okay um guys and we are done cooking it is done don't break don't break And for this one, it's a special one. Espariamos. So, what do you do when you have leftover ugali and you don't have anything to eat for breakfast? Like, I'm not even faking this. You know, the way influencers, we, we fake a lot of things. <laughs> this is leftover ugali. And um, this, this thing I just thought of. I feel I thought of it. So, you have your ugali, you slice it up into thin, thin. Thin strips, strip, merlin, merlin strips, strips. So you strip one. How many? How fast? Just make sure. Just make sure, like this surface and this surface is flat, so that it cool my foot a bit. It cool my feet. It shake a pan. It pass a pan a bit. That's what you want. That's what you want. Bend over as always. This one is like pretty flat. So we continue with that. Do you see? And then So for this, it's not flat to cool your mouth, so let me just cut it. Make sure it's hard and crunchy at the bottom of the menu. You flip it. Don't be afraid to let it brown. Let it brown. Let it brown. The perfect. Okay, sorry. Yeah, on both sides. On both. We want that corrupt. Woo! This one. Oh, this one. I'm excited for this one. Can you even see? I'm excited for this one. Look at this one. Oh my god. Guys, we are pretty much done. This lighting is everything. Um, oh my gosh, they look so yummy. Isn't it in a guy? How do I describe this? Can you see? Oh, yeah. I want you to hear the crunch. The crunchy, 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 crunch, crunch. This is how it looks like. Hmm? Okay, bye bye. To be honest, I can eat this without skuma, mayai, chai. It's like a snack, but in Takuni na chai, nonetheless. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this video, Takuni Sinyongwe. <laughs> um, subscribe if you haven't liked this video, share it, leave a comment down below. There's that there's this the Instagram if you want to go and uh, keep up with me there. So thank you nonetheless. See you in my next video. Bye! Oh, kafunge, 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 kafunge.